Hello good people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. If you actually new here, welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Martha. I started my channel as a reseller, but I actually started branching off and talking about other things. So I came to a conclusion guys that what I'm going to do with my channel, I'm going to basically talk about what I want to talk about. I have so many things in my head that I want to talk about, so that is what I'm going to do. So again, if you think you might like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share the video, and let's jump right into it. Today's video is going to be about quiet quitting. They say it's a new phenomenon, but it's really not a new phenomenon. It's actually been around for a while, and people have actually been doing this. This is nothing new. I think they just kind of came up with this name because like I said, people have actually been doing this for a while. I know I have, so you may have as well, but it just, you know, this name quiet okay, quitting. So what is quiet quitting? If you look at it, you think that is about people that's actually, you know, quitting their jobs, you know, just not showing back quiet up. Quiet quitting is basically where you are staying at your job, but you are doing the bare minimum. You're doing your job. You're doing what they actually hired you to do. You're doing your requirements for your job no more nor less um none of that quiet quitting is when you are on a nine to five eight to four corporate job and you are doing basically the bare minimum you are doing your job no more no less you're not doing the overtime you're not going the extra mile to do xyz you're not doing any of that whatsoever that is quiet quitting so like I said, you may have already been doing that, but I know for me, I have, you know what I'm saying? I think I've been doing this for several years now, you know? I don't feel like I have to do overtime, go to extra mile, none of that, because I just feel like these companies, they don't value their employees. I know personally for, you know, for me, you know, if they value me so much, I would probably still be with one of those companies, but I'm not. So, and the difference between quiet quitting and the hustle culture is that, you know, back in the day when people were, you know, breaking their neck to get to work, you know, 20, 30 minutes before time, going an extra mile, working all this overtime, doing so much for the company, you know, because people felt like this is what they had to do in order to get to the next level. To me, that's also part of that American dream, you know, situation, but that's another video. The hustle culture is when people just really felt like they had to do so much, you know, to show these people that, you know, they were such a good worker, you know, just doing the extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? That they weren't even really getting paid for, you know what I'm saying? So that's the difference between the quiet quitting in the hustle culture. You know what I'm saying? I've come to the realization that they don't want to do that and they don't have to do that. But with the quiet quitting, people have really realized and come to the realization that this is the way they want to live their lives. They don't want to have to do all this extra stuff for what? When they don't get a pat on the back saying job well done. They are already treating people even though we are going back into the offices and things of that nature, these companies are already treating people like they are strictly robots. They are not treating people like they are human beings. I'm gonna do exactly what you hired me to do. And that's pretty much so easy why anyone would want to do it unless you are trying to advance your career. And that's a whole different ball game. Don't get me wrong on that. If you are that type of person and you at that level, you someone that's young, a particular company, and you want to advance your career, by all means, that's the way you should go if that's the way that you want to go. A certain age or a certain mindset, you know, and that's to me, that's not a lazy person. It's just a fact of the matter that they have been around long enough and they know exactly how these companies are. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with someone being lazy. You know, they hired you to do a job and that's what you are doing. You know what I'm saying? So if you think that is something pertaining to someone that might be lazy, no, it's, it's nothing like that. It's the simple fact of the matter that you are going to do your job and no more, period. Yes, you do just enough that you don't get in trouble if you get off at five o'clock, you are already out the door. You're in your car by what, 5.01? You know what I'm saying? All of that. 
you know, no extra anything. You just, you know, you, you're doing your job. You're coming in, you're doing your job, and you leave it, period. You know, none of that overtime, none of that, you know, foolishness with these companies try these companies try to throw at yeah, you guys. I thought this was a, you know, a pretty good topic to talk about. Um, quiet quitting. Um, you know, like I always tell you guys, comment below, tell me if you have already been doing this, you know some people that's doing this, comment below, you know, so we can have a dialogue on it because I think it's very interesting. Like I said, you know, I hey, this has been out there for a while. People have been doing it for years, I should say. It's nothing new, you know? So they just came up with this name, Quiet Quitting. Like I said, yeah, it's fitting for it and it's funny. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, if you think you might like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.